Yo, what's going on guys? So I just wanted to make this short little video to let you all know that I was able to hold strong and not buy any of the cap commissary offers, which for me, you know, it's it's very weird to not be participating nearly as much in an event like this, especially when like I see all my alliance mates participating, buying the deals, getting all these new rank ups, and it's, you know, it's 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 FOMO, fear of missing out. That's exactly what it is. And I sat there and stared at those offers a lot. And I was like, okay, well, maybe one. You know, like I'll limit myself to just buying one. And I kept telling myself that. And I almost bought it like so many times. But in the end, I did not buy it. This was like the final night of the offers here. You can see there's like 14 hours left on them. Still have a purchase limit of five on all of them. And if I was going to buy one, it was going to be the big one. So that I could take mainly a tech catalyst. So I get my fourth one for Shuri. As you can see, I don't have a fourth one. Didn't buy anything. Didn't buy any of those offers. Held strong. And um, I, I didn't... I also did not complete the solo event. So I did get to the units, the 900 units, uh, free to play. You know, I didn't um, spend anything to get here. I bought the loyalty selector bundle for 1.5 million. That gave us like a thousand points. And the rest of these points are mainly just from Battlegrounds objectives and AQ fights. So I ended up missing out on, you know, a seven star Civil Warrior or, you know, getting the seven star basic crystal. I don't, I'm not even sure which one I would have went for. Probably the basic crystal, but um, I, I mean, I don't know because I didn't get there and uh, it just wasn't worth it. It was not worth worth it for me. Uh, the amount that I would have to spend either like with my gold. I barely have any gold. I only have less than less than 10 million now dude like the gold it's rough out here but we got those units that's what uh, i was i was my main priority was getting those units and yeah now there's another deal here again hard pass on this not going to be spending really until cyber weekend that's where i'm trying to stay free to play until except for the sigil i went ahead and renewed my sigil just so i can grind that arena because i'm trying to farm units i'd i'd like to get to like at least 20k units by the end of november for cyber weekend and uh, i'm quite sure i can do that if if i stay on the arena grind which uh, i've been trying to do here so yeah i think uh that's the plan try to be free to play with with this occasional sigil so not you know it's not super it's not 100 percent free to play but uh for me <laughs> this is as close as it gets and uh yeah it, it just felt good to be able to stay strong and uh completely pass on those cap commissary offers and uh yeah that's really just all i wanted to show you guys with this quick video so yeah we did get the units passed on these um well over 6,500 units now and like i was at like low 3,000, like at the start of the month or something and i've already like doubled my units so we're just gonna keep grinding do that arena and yeah i just wanted to make this little video letting you guys know all that um that's gonna do it i hope you guys enjoy i will be streaming today gonna be doing a bunch of the side quest and probably some more arena i uh, have like a ton of these side quest runs to do uh 24 of them and there's less than a day left so yeah gonna go stream do that you guys should come hang out that's gonna do it for the short video thanks so much for watching peace out